presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading and YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The, awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, and prowling us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, get that tequila out, baby. We're going to need it. Don't make assumptions. Let your life be transformed. When you stop making assumptions, your word becomes impeccable, and your life is completely transformed. Magic just happens in your life. What you need comes to you easily because the spirit flows freely through you. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 1265. NASDAQ's off 736. S&Ps are off 179. Gold contract up $9.30, traded at $18.78 an ounce. You get silver up six cents, twenty-two dollars forty-six cents an ounce. Lights free crude flat, hundred eight dollars twenty-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note trading down one full point plus a tick at one eighteen oh three. The thirty-year off almost three points, two point two five at one thirty-seven twelve. And king dollar, king dollar's up eleven hundred fifteen ticks trading out at one oh three seventy. The euro is out here at 105. The yen is at 130.18. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring the futures up because what you have out here, folks, is an intraday ABC structure on the way down and the S&P. So you take a look at this, and it's a monster. It's a huge one. You're going to see the first leg. The first leg up here, you get 42.73. That was at, uh, bottom line, 8 o'clock this morning. Um, all the way down to this uh, 41.45. You, you made the small bounce up at 11.30, and then guess what? You broke the B point. You broke it with volume. The B point on this is uh, 4141. And your projection there is 4038. That's on your S&P. N NQs, same type of setup inside the NQs. Pretty intense. I mean, there's no doubt about it. We get an hour here, so <laughs> this is, well, hey, I'll, I'll show you the building cause. The building cause is the most dangerous part about this, and I've, I've talked about this many times. And the NQs, same deal. Your, your, your A point is set up here, 13,453. Your B point is down at 875. Your C point was the uh, 964. You broke it. That's 12,406. So we'll see, uh, bottom line, is that we're gonna get this today or you get this tomorrow. Um, it, it, we have plenty of time to get it today. And you gotta, you know, if you've been, well, and also, I wanna show you when, you, when you're looking at this, this is, these are 10 minute bars, folks, okay? That's what I use. That is a lot of building cars going sideways, trying to basically get up, get out of it. Um, the last leg that we just come down that had volume also, it's it's a it's a market that is resetting prices in, in a monster way. Gold. Gold contract. It's amazing that gold is up at all, folks, where the dollar is trying to break topside. If we if the dollar does break topside, the dollar's going to uh, 121. Uh, gold is up nine dollars. Now, what it did do is this. It finally got some um, volume behind it. We have two hundred four thousand contracts. OK. That being said, guess what? It gave it up on price, man. And if you give it up on price on Thursday, coming into Friday, that's telling me this thing's gonna be right back downtown tomorrow. Now, the good news is 
that we finally got some volume in it. Because when it, when, you, when you get volume, it's like, okay, you know, you might have the shot at it. Big toss-up, though. I can tell you that. Currency. Currency right here. What you have out here right now is this. Is that you're up 1,100 ticks. Now, on a council charting or candlestick charting pattern, this is a very bearish pattern. This is a lost engulfing. And what a lost engulfing is, is this, folks. A lost engulfing is that you've had a big uptrend, and at the end of the uptrend, of, you know, no one knows when the uptrend really ends, but, you know, at the high, at the top, at the high of the uptrend, you come down first, then you go up and you take it all out. That's what we have out here today. So it's going to be really intriguing to see, you know, is this the basically um, end of the dollar going to higher price? We'll find out. The thing that's amazing, and if we go over to the oil, now let's go over to the oil market because this is, good, this is going to get wild watching how this thing shakes out. We pull up the oil contract. Oil contract is at 108.49. And at that particular point, uh, you can see that we don't have the volume on oil, okay? Uh, no, oil's been going, there's no doubt about that, but this is not, it just does not have the volume, man. You get 267,000 contracts, you took out the last swing point, the last swing point was $109.81. We went to 111.37 today, couldn't handle it. So that's telling me that oil's gonna back down also. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of dynamics in this marketplace. Um, you take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. NVIDIA is down $17. You got Marbell off seven cents. That's pretty good. See, that's, that's, these, what, if you're trying to hide somewhere, folks, a day like today, I'd suggest you go through equities tonight and see who didn't get hit. That's, that's what you want to look at. Um, Facebook's off $16. You got uh, Microsoft's off $14. Tesla's off $90. I mean, you're talking about monster numbers out here. If we go inside the Dow Industrials and we take a look at the Dow Industrials, uh, you know, there's, there's, there is no strength whatsoever. Um, they're all red. And point-wise, you get uh, Home Depot is the number one. That's pushing 121 negative points. United Health, 110. Salesforce, 100. The least amount is Coca-Cola. That's not even a point. Yeah, th these, are, these are the strongest ones in the Dow Industrials. Coca-Cola, Verizon. Uh, Walgreens, Merck, IBM, Intel, Cisco, not bad. I mean, there's actually a bunch of them that are not bad. Um, you know, that being said, the ones that are bad are just eating them alive. Inside of the NDX 100, what do you have? You get bookings.com is up 3.5%. Outside of that, guess what? You got Cognizant Technology down 13%. Pendo is down 12 and a half. eBay's down 12. Mercado Libre's down uh, 10 and a half. Big numbers. And we are going to have volume on the way down, folks. So what you have, you have a market breaking lower after sucking everyone in. And guess what, man? Get out of the way. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow's down 1,300. Nasdaq's off 757. S&P's off 187. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down 1,300. Nasdaq's off uh, 761. S&Ps are off uh, 200, oh, yeah, 200, 185. Let's go to my man, Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Tom, Tom, this is the reason you're at the helm. This is the reason you're at the helm. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, too much. Well, hey, we'll, we'll find out. I mean, <laughs> this is no little thing. Look at that, that phony rally yesterday because everyone thought half point instead of three quarter point. That was the phoniest short covering mess I've ever seen. But uh, would someone from your office please, please send Kathy Wood over at the ARC Fund the Fibonacci sequence? You know, I'll tell you, it, it's, I hate seeing people lose money, period, but it's pretty intense. So listen to this, folks, okay? Now, this is the type of market that we're in, that Kathy Woods Fund, okay, took in more money. Listen to this. This is insane, folks, okay? This is the amount of money that's going to be lost, okay? She took more money in yesterday than she's ever taken in. Here, here's the number. Watch this. this I saw this this morning. I thought I was seeing things. Well, I didn't. 366.7 million on Tuesday. Uh, this was on Tuesday she took in. The biggest inflow of the year. What has happened is that she, she's, you know, she does have a huge amount of followers. Um, yeah. But guess what? That money's down the drain now, too. It's, it, and what, yeah. what Kathy Wood does, and I, you know, the bottom line is that there's doubling and tripling down as that money comes in. She's buying the same stocks because I can see the the percentage that she owns every day. So it's pretty intense, man, in general. Boy, I, I hope she's on the ground floor, that's all. I don't think there's any lenses in those glasses she wears, but that's just speculation. Tom, I'm short a couple tech stocks. Uh, IBM seems to be bucking the trend here. Uh, when would you cover on these techs? Certainly, there's, there can't be any buying tomorrow morning in these. I wouldn't say so, yeah. I mean, unless we have some kind of turnaround uh, into the close, but you just heard, I mean, I'm going with the ABC structures. They are, they, they, we have, what's happened here is this. We got intraday ABC structures, we got weekly ABC structures, and we got daily ABC structures. So it's like, okay, you know, we had a one-day wonder, and, you know, 
Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, Tom, you're the guy that was behind Regina's Pizza climbing into a dumpster looking for their secret spaghetti sauce. That's right. That's me. <laughs> yeah, and, and you're one of the best technical traders out there for Pete's sake. This is, this is quite a capitulation today. This is like Christmas morning. I, listen, it, okay, so when I gave these numbers out, folks, right? Now, when we talk capitulation, and there will be one, okay? If we ran down to those numbers today... I would say that that would be a buy for short-term basis. Um, our problem, excuse me, is if we don't, this is still, it'll have enough energy to get there probably tomorrow or Monday. Then you take a rest. It's the, every time that you build cars, the energy the, in the market gets heavier and the selling can get more intense, you know? Yeah. And so what happens, folks, is that I know this is bad, but it has to get worse for a capitulation. Okay, um, does, 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 does that mean the, the institutions have to capitulate? Is that the last to go? Uh, they're because all, the retail person it, it'd is It'd be out. institutions, it'd be individuals, um, you know. And, like, here, let, let, let's pull this up for a second. So first we're going to pull up the tick and see where the tick is at. So the tick's going to get us. So... You know, we get a good size tick. A, a minus 17, 28 is a good tick. I mean, that means that, you know, people that, that one second, I'm gonna make sure this says it wasn't on the open though. Oh, uh, what time is it? No, it wasn't on the open, it was 10 o'clock. So that, that's a good tick, okay? Um, now, the problem is that after you have a day like yesterday, the arms is not going to be there because what happens is that, you know, like today is a 2.38. Well, you need a five-day arms that's running about eight or nine to get a bottom. And what happened is that we only had a point, we had a point four eight yesterday because what and what a point four eight means, folks, is this: is that everyone is buying the exact same stock. That's what a point four eight is. So everyone was buying the, the you know the growth stocks again. So you know the the setup is not there just yet. Um, inside of the arms and uh, the way that the tick works is that you need two ticks within two or three days of each other. The second tick can be like 70% of the first tick. And then simultaneously you need that arms reading of a five day arms to run like, I like to see it basically over 10. At 10, 12, at, at real good bottoms, that thing's 10, 12, 14. And what that also means there is that it's selling everything. It doesn't matter what is the symbol, they're selling it. And then you need a rejection at lower price. You get that, then you get yourself something solid. You know, so I, my take, you know what my take is. My take is that we're repricing everything, folks. This has been one of the best expansions on the way up. It just totally makes sense that, you know, I, Tommy's been talking about it on his show, that if you just take the S&P, a normal retracement in a market is a 0 0.382 retracement. Well, what happened, folks, is that we went up so fast in one way that, you know, that's on the table, man. A 0.382 is on the table, you know? I um, mean, so, you know, a point, and a 0 0.382 is, well, I actually, oh, look at this. We're at it. We're at a, <laughs> we're at a 0 0.382 right now. My okay, take so is we're that at point three eight two. Are you still calling for the two thousand seven lows? Because that seems unrealistic. I am not. No, 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 no. Not even close. Um, no. I, but but right now, I I think thirty seven, thirty eight hundreds game on the S and P. You know, on the cash S and P, and yeah, that's running out right now at about forty one fifty or something. What is it? It's forty one oh eight right now. Wow. Yeah. This is quite a capitulation. This can't keep... Boy, I'm going to have to get to my piano and write a song. I've got the 401k blues. Ooh. Well, remember that, you know, you're not paying a tax on a 401k. You can protect yourself there. So. Yeah. No, I don't have one, but I'm yeah. sure people do. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Okay, man, you have a great one and a safe one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start here. So... Let's go into, let's go to the GDX first. You know, I mean, it, it's amazing, you know, that the bottom line is that uh, it, you have this baby and, and it hasn't got to the lows that were established out here on Monday. That low was 33.72. 
Uh, we had 29 million, you're at 21. You know, we'll, we'll see if this can, I, I'd like to see this get over uh, 3460, 3468 to be exact. You know, for all us gold bulls, metal bulls in general, you know, you know that coming into a Friday uh, in a bad market is never good in, in the metal business. That's, that's, <laughs> that's an understatement, folks. Um, you know, so, you know, some of these, some of these equities, they no doubt are taken apart. Look at GFI, man. This is like, you know, GFI came out with decent numbers this morning and it didn't matter. They're breaking the swing. Now, it doesn't have the volume. It's still going into its breakout area. It's going out to the breakout area that we have 15 million. You're only doing four, four and a half. But that's an indication. That actually is an indication that you have people that have to be selling everything now. That, that's what this comes down to. Dow, Dow Industrials down at 1294, Nasdaq's up 753, S&P's off 185. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 318. You get the NASDAQ off 766. S&P's off 190. Now, let's go over. I want to <clears throat> go over um, technically, folks, what happens in a market like this. And I'm not talking about technically how we all read charts, okay? What happens is that when you have a downdraft like this, this is what you have to absolutely keep in mind, is that because we have so many ETFs, that selling gets more selling. So first, I'm just gonna bring the cues up so you can just see how this kind of works, okay? So let's picture that, you know, you had a down market, the cues are going down. Well, what does that mean when the cues are going down? Well, what it means specifically, folks, okay, is that you can see I just put up the 
the holdings of inside the end of the of the queues, right? Well, as that goes down, and you know, bottom line, this is a pass passive deal. Well, being a passive deal, at the end of the trading day, every point that this goes down, the sponsor of the queues have to sell all these stocks. That's how that works. So that's where you can see when you get an acceleration that starts on the way down, it can really accelerate in a monster way. Now that's the same setup when we take a look at the SPY. The bottom line, all the stocks inside the SPY, same type of setup, bottom line, you start moving down, by the end of the day, they're gonna move all those stocks out. Now you're gonna see a monster amount of volume come in at the close out here today, because most of the time they're gonna even out that position coming into the close, that's how it works, okay? The difference as we've gone forward, you know, in the amount of years, I remember specifically when the actual queues actually started, because I had, the, the, the queues were owned at that point by the American Stock Exchange. And I had the vice president on, he was, he was explaining how the queues were gonna work and all of this, okay? And the first time that we really got to see the power of a downtrend and how fast it actually went was the pullback in 2000. You know, no one could really understand, like, how did this work? How, why did Sun Micro, Dell, Cisco, uh, the Four Nights, who was the other one? There was, there was one more that, um, well, Microsoft, that accelerated dramatically. That, that's the mechanism, folks. That's, how, that's the mechanism of how it works on the way down and all the way up. The problem on the way down is that, you know, you've heard this a million times, is that, you know, you go up the escalator and go down the elevator. I mean, there's, that's how it works, so. And in this particular market here, what's happening is that it doesn't matter what ETF structure you bring up, all those ETFs work the same way. So by the close, the bottom line, they gotta be, you know, they gotta have that all in place. It's the, what is the weighting structure? How does it work so they can keep the price, you know, as it is? That, that's, that's, that's how this works, so. Um, Apple, it, Apple finally, you know, got, to, got torn apart. It's, it's really intriguing. And now, in Apple's case, this is where this gets interesting. Were, was it people that were actually selling Apple? Or was they selling the Qs? As they sell the Qs, Apple's 13.4% of the Qs. Sell the Qs, the eggs go down. Sell Apple, Qs go down. Chicken and egg. It's a chicken and egg in a, in a monster way here. Um, and you get, you get the rest of it. Some of the higher vol. Oh, here let's go. Let's go take a look at you. Get what happened this morning, and some of these. And you know this doesn't happen, folks. Um, some of the, the equities that have got hit, you don't have that happen in a bull market. And you know, and what I'm specifically talking about, like Shopify. Shopify, what went from seventeen hundred dollars down to four hundred dollars. And Shopify, look at this, this is an ABC down. No, oh, this is sick. So, what is that, 988? Wow, holy cow. That's a 470 A to B. That says that that's gonna go to $310. And right now you're at 409. And 305 is the swing point going all the way back to 2020. So I got an ABC structure down there. Um, what else one came out? I know there's, there's a couple more that got actually smoked this morning. Shopify was one. I was listening to Tommy's program. Uh, here, I'll bring up the most traded stocks. Maybe that'll help. Um, well, let's go. Let me bring it NVIDIA anyway. Because this equity is like... Okay, so NVIDIA, it's only giving up $16. Um, Home Depot, that was building cars, that finally broke, well, not, not quite, not quite. That low, uh, 301.25, is that 301.25? Yeah, so this, this gets interesting here, watch this. Um, what you have out here is that the, uh, the 293, had volume of 5.2 million and you're only 3.4. That's not bad. So let me see where the next step is down with this one. 
That was, well, I see, 288. You should, we should get some uh, support at that 288 area. Let's go to Robert in Kansas City. Hey, Robert, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I was just uh, wanted to check in with you and have a kind of a general market question I want to pick your brain about. So I was kind of expecting, you know, we're, we've, been, we've been talking a few weeks, kind of giving a sufficient warning that we're in a bear market. And, but I was expecting that we would get, especially like on the queues, or I guess take whatever indice you want, that our counter trend rallies would be a little more than what they are. So like if you take the, the queues and – you know, it, it just bounces up for one day and then it gives it all back. Is that is that what you would expect, or would you expect to see a little more of like, hey, there's going to be a you know a rally for three or four days, or maybe a week? Um, and he, just I would get say your that, on that. I mean, I was just kind of surprised that it just pops up for one day and gives it up. I mean, expecting more like if you go back to mid March and it kind of rallied up through. Mid March, so kind of the tail end of March, and then it, you know you had a decline. And since then, we, all we've seen is like a daily pop, and then it gives it up. So, to answer your question, the, you know, I mean, when you take a look at the cues, I mean, you know, you're talking about it was at 408, and you're you know 100 points off that. So, you can see, you know, at the beginning of this. You know, we've been in this. I mean, the beginning started in November. You can see this November goes sideways, right? You get the first leg down, wasn't bad, right? Pre-69, you get a bounce up to, you know, 390, right? You take the next leg down, you're at 334, you get a nice bounce to 370. Right? 294, right, at 370. You take the next leg down, it was kind of brutal, 318. And then we had that huge, you know, run, 317 all the way up to 371. So, you know, my take would be ha that is that, Robert, is that we have had what you're talking about. Um, okay. Now, this is a great question because this I was thinking about this this morning because this is important to understand, folks, in the context of normally how these things work out. What I've seen in markets that are this brutal is that you'll, you'll still get amazing counter trend moves, right? And what ends up happening is that once you get like, I, I think once we get the next leg lower and the next leg lower, you know, to me in this, even the Qs is somewhere around, I don't know, 297 maybe, you know, the ABC structure down is 281. You get down there, you go sideways again, you make another bounce. Here, just stay with us a second, all right? Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Robert from Kansas City, myself, we're going to be right back. We want to hear from you. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Come right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down 1177. The Nasdaq's off 693. S&Ps are off 169. We're talking about Robert from Kansas. We're talking about kind of market bounces. And, you know, Robert, I totally know what you're saying. In fact, some of the people in the den are saying the same thing, no doubt. That, you know, after you get a rally yesterday, is that why can't it rally for a couple more days? Uh, the, first, the, set, the first part of that is kind of how I answered it, that we've been in this since November, okay? And you've, you've had a couple good bounces. And, and, folks, if you haven't tried the den out, go over there and try it. It's a buck for the year, okay? Because it's a wealth of knowledge. And another tag was just showing me that, and I have this up in the chart right now. What it is, is that when we did this downdraft in 2007, 2008, right? You're going to see, you know, let, let's say in, in, my, in November of 07, the Qs are at 54, okay? Then we got down to 40 in March. Now, watch the bounce here. This is a nice bounce. Went from 40 all the way up to 50, so we did 25% up, right? And then it never looked back, man. And then went from 50 straight down to 24. Now, Ooh. I don't, it, to me, we're not there yet. OK, because what I expect we're going to see is this. I expect, you know, you got a leg down. The ABC structure will finish. You're going to move sideways again. You're going to build some more cars. And then the real question is going to be, is it just a razor blade after that? You know, and we'll see. Like, you know, my, the way that this market is set up right now, I would start looking for something. But I suspect that this is going to be brutal probably till next September or October, you know, because it's, it's set up right for that. You know what I mean? People are going to be fed up. The amount of money that's going to disappear just on this aspect. And, I, you know, what happens also, folks, is that people keep talking about margin calls. So the way margin calls work now is this. You know, years ago, and I'm talking about, I'm going back 10 or 15 years ago, you know, you, you have a market, right? And... Your account goes under the, the bottom line, you get the margin call the next day. That's no longer applicable. And you're going to find, you're going to see that. And if you, if you actually, if you read your, you know, prospectus in general, um, what does happen, and, and you'll get, they'll give you the heads up yet. Now, they haven't done this yet, okay? Well, at least they haven't done it in TG Meritrade because that's who I have my account with. Um, they will give you a notice that, they can take you out intraday when this market gets as volatile as it does. So, and because everything is electronic right now, what ends up happening is that they electronically basically take you out flat out. Do you know what I mean? As soon as it's done. So there's not like a time of the day anymore. There's not, uh, you know, I, 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 I see these things. I'm just mentioning it because the, everything's electronic now. So it, you know, the bigger broker deal is it's, it's very fast and, you know, fast and furious. So uh, so you're thinking that we're, we're going to head down a little lower and then it, it may bounce or just go sideways? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And mm -hmm. well, what, thank you. Appreciate what happened it. today is just this is kind of showing us, you know, how weak the market is. 
Yeah, yeah if it couldn't if it couldn't hold the the rally yesterday, that's that's not a very good sign. No, it's not. It's not. And 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 what's all what's also happening here is this. It's like I was on TD Ameritrade's network this morning, right? I'll give you an idea. Yeah, because what ended up happening, I shotted Square this morning. I shotted uh, Nucor this morning, right? And I bought Rig. This, I, what happens, I tr there's three live trades that I got to do when I'm on there, folks, okay? And when I was looking at Square, so Square's coming out with their, their earnings after the close here, right? Now, granted, any of these, you know, Card companies make money hand over fist. That being said, so watch this. Square's down 1260 right now. But you're paying, I think it was $80 for one. Yeah, you're paying $83 for $1. So the, the first part was technical, folks. My take is wants to go lower. The second part, fundamentally, it's like, really, you're going to pay $83. Now watch this number. And they're not even growing. <laughs> it's like, okay, what am I paying $83 for? They did $4.1 billion last quarter. They think they're going to be new $4.2 billion this quarter. You know, so the amount of price per earnings went bonkers this time. I mean, in a, in a monster way. And now check this out, folks, okay? If we are in a bear, someone tell me what the price per earnings ratio goes to in a bear. 10, okay? <laughs> so... It's pretty what intense, are we man. At now, like yeah, for the S and P. Yeah, right. So that's pretty intense, man. You know. Anyway, cooking, brother. All right, thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Let's go take a look at the indice volume because now what we're going to have, even if we can snap back at all, you're still going to have a monster high volume low. That's what you're going to have out here, folks. Okay. Um, so what you ha what you have here now? Um, let's see. We're at 747. Now, this is going to get really intriguing. And what it is, is this, is that we're at 747. This will probably do 1.5 billion. So what you're going to be able to see when I do the update is just the amount of ETFs that are basically selling or buying, whatever they're going to do, okay? Because, the, you know, uh, if you're, it was an inverse, you're going to be buying in order to basically get the number that they need at the close. Now, now the NASDAQ, I suspect, is going to be a, a monster already. It is. The NASDAQ's already 4.4 billion. So what that's setting up is that that's going to set up about a 5.8, maybe 6 billion. And the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ could probably do 6 billion on the way down. You know, so let's go to the banks and take a look at the banks because, uh, well, here, no, let's go look at the rates first. Because these rates, that you talk about fast, man. Right now, you get the 10-year, 3.04. And if we go take, I'm going to put this on a continuous basis so we can see this treasury. You're down a, ten, a full point right now. Oh, this could get interesting. Hold it. I need, I need the contract because I didn't see this. If this isn't an ABC structure down, this is going to be really interesting because it's already done a few ABC structures down. And put this, you get 1.8 million. That's not that many contracts. Might be enough, though. It is. 1.5 million, 1.8. Yeah, it's really, it's not, that, it's not that, that bad of an ABC, though. It really isn't. Well, here, let me do this. Put this on a weekly... Whoops. Okay, now I got to put it back on a. Because it was chopping around, folks, it's not an ABC structure down. Um, what we will do, though, I'm going to put this on a monthly so we can see what the next swing area is inside of the 10 year. Yeah, that's 117.13. We break 117.13, next step is down there, 114. You know, you can see, you know, basically, basically looking at this, that you can make the case that you just that you can well that you're going to get down to 104. You see, what we just did, you can see this. You broke the whole the whole trend from the very bottom of 2007 with conviction. You know, you get wide price spread and you get volume behind the move. 
Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We got the uh, Dow down 1100, NASDAQ down 666, S&P's off 157. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to uh, Mike in Boston. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, how you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, it's a beautiful day up here. Low nice. 70s, beautiful spring day. That's a beautiful thing. I'm glad you that's that's everyone's happy up there. That's a good thing, man. No doubt. Uh, yeah, all the all the trees are coming out, all the flowers are coming out. It's it's feeling it's a, like a feeling like spring up here. It's alive. Yeah. That's right. It's a great time of the year, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. So what are we going to hey, look at? I just had a quick question. Um, I'm in this ETF, FTGC. Okay. It, it's a commodities base. It's a third ag, a third metals, and a third uh, okay, energy. Good. Yeah. And um, I've been in it since the end of uh, end of December last okay. year. So I'm just... Um, Let's take a look. So, what do you take on it? Yeah. Inside of this, folks, you have natural gas is fourteen point seven percent, gold's twelve, con futures uh, it's five, soybean futures five, copper four, silver three, and let's go take a look at this. Yeah, I'd stay right there, man. I mean, you get that high volume okay. high that's looking at you, man. Thirty-one forty-seven. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nice, man. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Really nice in this pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah. man. Well, listen, man. Um, you have a great one and a safe one. Thanks for calling. Thanks. Appreciate it, Tom. Okay, man. Hey, and Bye -bye. folks, don't forget it's Cinco de Mayo. So um, go have a good time. Uh, eat some tacos. Drink some tequila. Drink some Modelo. 
Market wise out here, the bottom line is that, yeah, you know, we just got to, you know, we actually just, here, watch, look, watch this. This, this. this is a wild trip. I mean, when, you know, if you've ever traded the S&Ps or the NASDAQ, it's very unusual. I think we just got like a 40 point pop, folks, okay? Now, now it's given it up, okay? But we just went from, uh, let me see. Yeah, 4009. Yeah, we did, it was a 50 point pop. Okay, now it's going back down to town again, okay? But we, <laughs> oh man, this is sad. So what, what, what you're gonna see out here is this. If we bring up the SPY first, what you're gonna see now is that um, the SPY is gonna have volume pushing into volume. It's not a good scene, man. That's the bottom line. And, you know, we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow, but if it's a bad day tomorrow, it's, you know, if it's bad, you want it to be real bad. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.